Let the meltdown begin. MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network. I am Gabriel Morenci. Let's do this thing. Combat sports law style as we're breaking it down. Eric Magrack is going to join us. Combat sport law and then personal attorney from Vancouver, British Columbia. One of the sharpest uh, guys in the business. Really carving out a, a nice niche for himself. Breaking down all the legal issues of mixed martial arts. And uh, man, you know what? We got a lot of legal issues uh, to break down. Shocking. Shocking, shocking news that Nick Diaz tested positive for marijuana. My mind was blown. My mind was blown. It's almost like the episode of The Simpsons when they had the, uh, the brothel. Oh, Clancy. Oh, Chief Wiggum. All married men. And then Barney comes out uh, of the brothel and everyone's like, Ur. oh, Barney. <laughs> it's like Anderson Silva caught on steroids. Oh, yeah, 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 Nick Diaz tested positive. I would have been surprised if Diaz didn't test positive for marijuana. So, <laughs> Diaz, you get a free pass on this, because really it's ridiculous that marijuana is even being tested for, especially when you got a medicinal card. And uh, secondly, the story is all about Anderson Silva. We welcome John Ramsey into the Fight Network, into the studio to kick things off before Eric Magrack joins me. John, it's always a pleasure. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's a great main event. Anderson Silva, Nick Diaz, we're looking forward to it for so long. But uh, is, it, is it really tarnished? Is it tarnished because of this? I don't know. That's what I wanted to ask you. Is the, is the UFC, does the UFC have a problem right now? No, they don't. I mean, this is, you just look at history. Vitor Belfort, Josh Barnett, Chael Sonnen. The list goes on. You talk about Anderson Silva in this fight. Uh, I believe Chris Lieben, Sonnen, Vitor, Stefan Bonner. Six guys Anderson Silva's faced over his career. They've all test positive for something. It's part of the industry. Of course, we, the, the goal from trainers and fighters is to eradicate it. But I don't know how that's even possible. And let's be honest. I don't think the fight fans care. I don't no. think you guys care. I asked you guys on Twitter. It was overwhelming that you didn't care. The only, the, the slim, slim minority of you said, you just don't like that sometimes there's a juice guy against a guy that's not juice. But I don't know. We don't know who those guys are. I don't are. know. Would you be willing to bet your life on any fighter in the UFC that they've never taken anything? No. no I, again, th this uh, is... Yeah, not to throw everyone under the bus, because right. I know there's some clean ones yeah. out there. Mark Bocek retired because of this stuff. Guy was making 40000 a fight, man. He wasn't going to be fighting for a championship, but he liked fighting. It was his life, yep. put his entire life into it, and he told me, these guys, I, I, don't, many of them. I don't want to do what I have to do to compete with these guys anymore. And he says, they're hitting harder and you're feeling it, i.e., they're all juiced up, man. I don't want to do juice. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, and you can understand from a fighter's standpoint that it's like, okay, well, the only way I can be competitive is to do this stuff, and then I do it. All and the top hurt. guys are on it. That's what it seems. I'm not here to point fingers because there, I'm sure there's a lot of guys. You look at Ben Henderson, who's, you know, a devout Christian, says he's against drugs. I would expect... Wasn't John Jones a devout Christian? Yeah, it's true. I know. Who knows? That's why I said, would you be willing <laughs> to bet your life? <laughs> no. <laughs> Some, somebody, uh, I asked that question on Twitter. Somebody said GSP. I'm like, I wouldn't bet $10 on that, let alone my life. But, uh, but hey, that, that's, that's another story. But the thing is, I don't think fight fans care, but no. boy, do they love to kick the fighter when he's down. Yeah. Oh, how dare he? How dare he? People didn't care about baseball. We all knew. We all knew that Bonds was juiced. And then after the high and mighty media were all appalled. You know, the San Francisco Giants built a new damn stadium, a $500 million stadium because of Barry Bonds, and they wouldn't let him in it after. Oh, well, you know, like, he built it. It was, it was all the profit from his run. I don't think the UFC is cared. I, I think it's more so don't get caught, guys. That's what it is. But there's, I don't think there's a problem, but there is a problem because there's a public relations problem right now, John. Sure, I, I get that. But at the end of the day, you look at this situation. Let's say the UFC, they have to take responsibility. Anderson Silva tests positive. The commission's going to suspend this guy. Let's say they suspend him for a year. He's 40 years old. The guy probably doesn't want to fight more than once a year anyway. So it's a slap on the wrist. I come back the next Super Bowl. You put me up against George St. Pierre. I'm still the biggest star in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Does this taint him, in your opinion? No, it doesn't I didn't think him. it would. No, huh? Of course not. You're Look like, at no, not at all. Look, if we, we okay, don't... so why does it taint Barry Bond? Why, are all the, why is Roger Clemens and all these guys? Yeah, I, know. I don't get it. They're tainted. So what we're saying then, steroids, it doesn't matter that if you do steroids in MMA. Well, I guess. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, it's one of those things that 
You, you can understand from, uh, from a fighter standpoint where they might need some of this stuff. Like, I had the chance to talk to Luke Rockhold when we were down at AKA. Yeah. And he's frustrated because, he, uh, unfortunately, for Luke Rockhold, or fortunately, he goes, he's genetically gifted. He's taller, he's bigger, he's stronger. He's just a super athlete. So he... And again, I don't know if Luke Rockhold does this stuff or not. He says that he doesn't. He says that you know anybody that takes steroids, they're a cheater, they're not on my level, blah, blah, blah. But he says he also has friends that aren't as athletically gifted. Yeah. They don't have the same abilities that he has, so they have to take this route. But if you're, if you're Anderson Silva, it, just, I, I, it makes me think of this because what you just said, Anderson Silva already had an advantage against Diaz. Sure. He already was Broke his leg, though. Big. Yeah, and that's, that's what back, the excuse is going to be wrapped sure. up with a bow and a box. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm 40 years old. I didn't out. know. I was rehabbing. That's right. That's right. He's going to blame the doctors yeah. like the Patriots. Blame the ball boy. Sure, why not? Wouldn't you? You'd have your team around. You're saying, look it, just pass the buck. Anderson, just make sure you don't let anybody know that you were in on this. It'll be a team situation. It'll get swept under the rug. And, uh, you know, there were questions whether he was actually going to fight again. He was sort of leaning to retirement uh, after... Yeah, I wonder right now, do you believe he just comes back in the year and it's all okay? Because you, I have to tend to agree with you, John. People were freaking out about the John Jones stuff. And 24 hours later, no, oh, well, we want to see him fight him, Anthony Rumble Johnson, right? Of course. People just sort of they move forget. on. They don't care. They just sort of move on with it. That's right. As soon as you dangle the carrot in front of them, give them a shiny new toy to play with, they get excited. You're telling me if the UFC signs Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, Super Bowl, Weekend, 2016, you think anybody's going to give a rat's ass? No. You know what my problem is uh, with this is that it takes away, and I don't even want to say this, because I was going to say it takes away from a guy like Tyrone Woodley, who won with a broken foot, doesn't want to take the guy's 30% purse, real class act, that's not going to get talked about. He's not a needle mover. Yeah, Misha Tate's great comeback against Sarah McMahon, not going to get talked about, sort of gets overshadowed, but I don't know. You know, I sat here, I've been crying for the last couple of years. Oh, it wasn't fair that Anderson Silva had to fight Chael Sonnen in Oakland because Chael Sonnen was juiced. So, you know what? I'm done defending the whole freaking <laughs> lot of you. Do what you want, man. Do what you want, man. Courtney, love it up. I don't give a crap, man. I don't care anymore. I'm with Randy. Eric McRacken's going to join me next.